Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's I, Limit Break Ray, and welcome to a special broadcast of Resident Evil 2 Dual Shock version. All right, so we're going to start an original game. Um, I had a vote on both Facebook pages, the Ray Godesta page and both the Limit Break Ray page. And um, even though this only got three votes, it got the most votes. So we're doing Resident Evil 2, and I'm going to start with the Claire Redfield disc. Why? You'll see. <laughs> I, I don't know why. I just like, I, li I always like Claire. Leon's not a bad character, but I like Claire. All right, I'm just partial to female characters. What do you want from me? I'm a guy. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> here we go. Let's go on the normal. We're going for normal here. Abnormalities. So we're going to let the intro play. This is how Resident Evil 1 started. Occurred in yes, it was bizarre. Indeed. Dot com. City. It was later revealed that the terrible disaster had been caused by the T virus. Also known as the Z virus. Why didn't they call the it the Z virus? Enterprise Umbrella Incorporated for use in bioweapon experiments. Really? That sounds cool. Cool story, bro. Stars <laughs> immediately began investigation in the affair. The case was apparently closed thanks to the efforts of STARS members Chris yeah, Redfield kind of itchy. and Jim ah, itchy. Also, let me give some shout outs to the people the who voted. Um, let me make sure everybody gets counted uh, for their vote because I don't want to leave nobody out because they will respond. Without them, my channel would not be on and without them, my Facebook page would not exist. And, you know, without my viewers, I would not be around and I would not be enjoying this. Um, I wanted to go ahead and uh, give shout outs to um, my friend Michael Goad, who uh, is no longer with me at the job. Uh, also, Ronald, I'm finally here. Uh, who gave the first vote, and Yvonne, who also voted for this, even though she wanted to see a different game, she went ahead and voted with everyone else to see Resident Evil 2, even though this is a survival horror game. So, it got the most votes. It got three votes um, out of other um, out of no votes. Well, that guy looked bad. That guy's a maniac. Why'd he bite me? Because he thought you were a delicious truck driver. <laughs> So yes, those were the three people who voted for Resident Evil. Whoever did not vote, ha, too bad. <laughs> Resident Evil won. You didn't give your vote, so I don't want to hear it. You know what they say in elections, if you didn't vote, you Hello? can't complain. <laughs> so yeah, there's that. Uh, so uh, so yeah. after the vote, after the fact, boy, um, yeah, it looks like you came in at, during the dinner hour. Look. I'm sorry I bothered you, okay? Uh, yeah, Just that's, that's not gonna... Closer. Yeah, yeah. Are you listening? Nope, nope, he's not. <laughs> he's not listening. <laughs> yeah. The city's infested, and I'm afraid Loken is not gonna be able to help. Wait, don't shoot! Get down! Shoot some more! We can't stay out here. Head to the station. It'll be a lot safer. Yeah. Right. <laughs> That's a Resident Evil there. 2 game without the Resident Evil intro. Buckle up. Okay. Buckle down. Buckle sideways. I mean, you don't know which way to buckle nowadays. What's going on? I arrived in town, you don't know what's going on. Right. The whole place out. is infested. You're a cop, right? Yeah. But yes, First those are the people the that voted. Great Yvonne cop. Visser. Name's Leon Kennedy. Nice to meet you. Mine's Claire. Claire uh, Ronald Redfield. Tate Eldridge. I came to find my brother Chris. And of course, Michael Doe, who also voted for Resident Evil, because it is truly a classic. Um, the games that were listed for Resident Evil 2, Sweet Home for the Nest, which was the inspiration the for Resident Evil, sure. um, The Legend of Zelda and the Minish inside. Cat, which was Better one of my, um, ah! a good friend of mine's favorite, and I wanted to get him this one, Cold War Candy Crush, Soda, Helicopter Battle, another LCD game. I just finished another LCD game earlier tonight. 
um, which you should check out either on my channel or um, on okay? the Limit Break Ray page. It's up, and I may go ahead and link it to the Rega Desta page because that's a more serious page. But because people don't get the notifications like they should that are meant for the page, I will usually post them to the Rega Desta page. Anyway. Let's watch the truck get blown up all nice and pretty <laughs> and prepare to run like a son bitch. Because if we don't Claire uh, Leon Yeah, it's pretty I'm much okay. gonna be over. Man. Head to the station. I'll meet you there. Hopefully we will okay. meet in one piece. They were parted by an inescapable destiny. Or unescapable destiny. Whichever you want first. This is just the beginning of their worst nightmare. This is the beginning of my worst nightmare. Well, let me see if I can escape these guys. Ah, get off me! Fire. Fire is not cool when you're running from zombies. Let's go ahead and see if we can go around the pole. Go on, get off! Can a lady take a walk in peace? You know what? Get off me. Go on, get out of here. I'm gonna die. Damn it! This city has an overcrowded zombie situation going on. Alright, so, yep. Oh, you guys gotta go. You guys all gotta go. Stop following me. Man, this game is on the dark side. I should have turned up the game. But go on, get out of here. I should have said I should have gone for the auto aim controls because I can't aim with the damn. I'm just wasting ammo. All right, go on, get out of here, kick your head off. Talk about foosball. All right, so let's take care of the guys in the alley. Might as well since we're here. Is there anybody down here? Nobody's here. Okay. There's usually something there. I guess there's not. Okay, so let's go into the gun shop. Kendo. Can I come in, please? <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I didn't want to die quick, so we did a, f a little bit of tinkering. So, yep. Freeze. No, because it's not cold out. <laughs> Who are you? What are you doing here? I know my friend Michael Go knows about Don't being shoot. cold. I'm a human. <laughs> well, maybe he doesn't. He always wore a hoodie all the damn time. What the hell? Ooh, How do you click a bow? That, babe. Why did the I bow make a clicking sound them. like a gun? What's going on in this town? Hold on. Why is there air? Let me stop. I got no <laughs> clue, darling. By the time I noticed something was wrong, the entire city was infested with zombies. Really? So your first clue uh, with people eating each other in the streets was not a clue that the city was being infested by zombies. All right, so let's go ahead and we'll just go ahead and let's talk to him one more time. But don't you worry, girly. You'll be safe in here. I'm keeping a close eye on things. Yeah. No. <laughs> So let's see if there's anything I can read. Can I do some reading? Because last time there was some stuff on the counters that I could read. I know there's ammo in here, but I don't need it yet. Yet. Is there anything? Where's the newspapers and stuff I could read? There was there were newspapers and things in here before. What the hell, man? Oh, there it is. Paper dated September 18th. It looks like it looks irrelevant. What? It looks irrelevant. What are you talking about? 
More useless trinkets, okay. Ah! Yeah, you guys suck. No, I'm out of here. <laughs> We're leaving. Marines, we are leaving. <laughs> Ten minutes in, almost die. All right, see, you guys always got on my nerves. I don't care how much ammo I'm gonna waste. You guys are gonna die now, cause I get tired of you guys chasing me through the alley. Cause I gotta do a cutscene, so let it bleed. Are you guys dead now? Good. There should be one more donut eating cop over there somewhere. A little flesh eating cop. Oh, that's not a cop. It's just another zomboy. Yeah, somehow I knew you were gonna try and get back up. All right, so that takes care of that. There should be some ammo, but you get a special reward if you don't pick up any ammo on the way to the police station. Okay, there's only one guy to deal with. I'm playing on my Note 8 so I can do this broadcast. So it's a little hard to see, but... Yeah, you can always tell when a zombie's completely dead when they uh, let out blood. That's why there used to be a hint in the guy called Let It Bleed. I should go back to the Kendo gun shop because I want to go ahead and grab that bow. But I wonder if I grab the bow there, is it going to mess up? my chances of getting that one special item near the police station. I can't remember how that went. Okay, so yeah. Time to yo for it. <laughs> above the rim. Look at that graffiti above the rim. This too shall pass. That one goes out to Miss um, Ocean Ocean. I know you don't like video games, but you said this too shall pass when I was in a very bad way and it's on this wall so that's a good sign this too shall pass blood on the dance floor michael jackson reference <laughs> all right so let's go ahead and head through here resident evil <laughs> yeah. all right so i know already know there's nothing in these ash cans yo for it yo for it yo for it <laughs> Yeah, see that? Yo for it. Seriously, I'm not kidding. The female zombies sound like female zombies in this game. Let me see, can I pick this up? Nope, I can't pick that up. It looks like there's something there, doesn't it? Let's see, Mini Mart, Step 1, and Gleam Watches. Yes, I don't know what that says over there because it's kind of teeny tiny. I can't see it. If you guys can see it, please say something below in the comments, because I can't see it. Yes, yeah, step off. Where's a magnum when I need it? Man, I'm only halfway to the police station and already I'm hearing crows. Are you dead? You better be dead. She's oh really? Where the hell did you come from? Well the camera angles in this are bad. Heat up! See that? There's graffiti right here on the wall. Here, let me have Claire point at it for you. See, right there it says heat up. <laughs> and this is what I was talking about. This is why I like playing with Claire. <laughs> if you didn't get that reference, then I'm sorry. Or maybe I'm not. 
<laughs> She's dead. She's not. Also, shout outs to my favorite YouTubers, uh, Mark Clyde, John Wolf, Ashens, and a new favorite, um, his name is Guru Larry Ono. I think his, uh, uh, his name is Larry Bundy Jr. He has a channel that I was just watching. Um, also, I want to go ahead and give a shout out to Lixie TV, all my friends on Facebook. Um, special shout out to my friend Alicia at the job. Shout out to Ocean Ocean, even though I know you don't really watch the channel and you don't like games very much. Shout out to Mr. Bond. Uh, Ronald, thank you for voting on uh, tonight's game. And I know we want to get this over with because they're munching away over there. <laughs> um, also, shout out to everybody at the job. Thank you so much for all your support. So let's go ahead and get through, through this. Does that guy have a fork in his back? Hey, look at this, a gremlin. Man, cars were small back then. They're small now. That guy had a fork in his back. <laughs> Somebody didn't agree with what he was serving. That was probably the waiter. Everybody's gonna die. Everybody remember that in the middle of the game? Later on in the game? Everybody's gonna die? Not me. I'm gonna mow all these guys down, screw this, and screw everything about that. Cause you guys are not gonna be chasing me relentlessly through the alleys. Cause screw that. Uh-uh. No. Gonna stay down now? Yes? Double tap. Get on the bus. Get on the bus. Get on the bus. Yep, get on the bus. Hey, 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 no! Oh man, sorry. Maybe I'm not sorry. Come on. Come on. Can we get a good look at Claire? Hey, let me see. I think she's got some stop animations. Let me let her stand still for a minute. Because I think she's got some waiting animations that I forgot all about. I know, I know. Everybody wants me to get through the game and get to the meat of it. But we're already in the heat of it right now. And I done shot a lot of freaking zombies up. And in case you're wondering, I do have a single code turned on because I don't freaking want to die from something dumb. Okay, she doesn't have a standing animation like Jill did in the first game. Yeah, I know it kind of ruins the atmosphere and everything, but I'm sorry. I am not about to get munched on by a crowd of zombies. And I can, I, I could have just outrun most of them. See, like this, watch. Most of them I can just outrun, because they're dumb. Look how dumb these guys are. You guys are stupid. See, look at that. I didn't just outrun them. I didn't even have to fire a shot. And then, then when I go through this gate, they're going to be locked out. I didn't shoot them through the gate, man. Okay, is there anybody over here? I think that... I think Dum Dum is over here. Are you down here, Dum Dum? Yes, you are. And I'm going to take what you got. I forgot that Brad is pretty tough. He's a pretty, pretty tough sound boy. Takes an ass load of freaking ammo to take him down. Will you take the special key? Yes, I will. <laughs> I will take the special key. I know a lot of people are out there shouting, Cheater! Cheater! <laughs> I know you are. I don't care. I love Resident Evil 2, but I just don't like the discomfort of being killed half the time over something dumb. And I wanted to get that special key, so I may turn this off in the next segment of the game. Because I'll probably have enough ammo to stop to just, like, take out half the zombies in here. 
Now, if I remember correctly, there should be zombies, like, roaming around out here. I thought there were. There's not. There ain't none out here. thought there was some out here. No? Huh. There ain't none out here. Yeah, I thought there was some out here. Okay, well, let's go ahead. Yeah, sorry, my, my controls of the game are just kind of off. Also, oh, I wanted to give a shout out to Lixen TV because I saw some of his stuff for this game. And I really miss playing this game. This game is just awesome. This game is awesome with or without codes. If you're highly skilled or like if you're unskilled like I am. Because I never knew how to play. Let me see. I think this door is locked. It's electronically locked. And it is too. Now going back out there. Let's see. An old fountain. Something is written here. To obtain the key to open your heart, I'll wait for the unicorn, the beautiful beast. How beastly. So it's a good thing there's no... Um... So we'll start picking up ammo for all the good it'll do us right now. Also, I think there's an ink ribbon here. Yep, ink ribbon. I'm gonna save the game. Saving the game. Yeah, yeah. Saving the game. Yeah, yeah. And if you're not a Ghostbusters fan, that's kind of a Ghostbusters uh, reference. Ink ribbon. Memory card one. Clear a scenario. Hall. Will you use the computer? Yes. Door lock service. All side doors locked. The doors can be unlocked by a key card. Wow, that was vague as hell. <laughs> I never noticed how vague that was back in the day. I was just excited to play this game. I remember when I got this game, it came with a Resident Evil 3 disc. And if you guys want to see me play that, um, and I'll try not to cheat, I promise. <laughs> Now, I made a promise here on this channel I'll try not to cheat because I was not very good at Resident Evil 3. Um, and it took a long time to complete it, but when I did, I used my Game Shark like a son of a bitch to go right back through it. I started an all new file and Game Shark my way all the way through. It still took a long time because even with a lot of ammo and gear, the enemies are still difficult and they're tough to take down. So yeah, we're going in here now. Man, I never oh. noticed a lot of sounds. A lot of the sounds in this game. Man, what happened to this guy? Hang in there. Are you the only officer left in the building? Uh, who are you? Hey, Travis. Look, Claire, this guy has Claire the Redfield. same taste in haircuts I'm looking as you for do. My brother Chris. <laughs> we lost contact with him over ten days ago. Chris... Jill Barry. Every last Stars team member has disappeared. Yeah, we then go have listened poof, right into the jungle after that helicopter what flight. What happened? About two months ago, there was this incident involving these zombie-like incident. creatures. You call this is an incident? In a mansion located this is not in the an outskirts incident. of this city. This was on purpose! Chris and the other Stars members discovered that Umbrella was behind The maker everything. of fine quality umbrellas. At the risk of their own lives. But no one believed them. And remember, <gasps> when you need an umbrella, Are you okay? call Umbrella Corp. Don't worry about me. Just rescue the survivors in the other rooms. If there are any. I don't yeah. think there are. Take this key card. You should be able to unlock the doors in the hall with this. Goody, goody, now gumdrops. Go. <laughs> but... Just go. Yeah. Okay. No. Just hang in there. I'll be back soon. Oh, I wanted to read what was on the table. I guess if you play as Leon, you get to, like, read all that stuff. 
lock the damn door on me. Hey, hey. Slack from the other side. Probably didn't want me coming back in there. All right, so we got a key card. Let me see. Yep, key card. There's a key card. Got that. Got the special key. I forgot what the frick room that goes in. Let's see. Check. A plastic card. It reads all electronic lock. Okay. We got ammunition for days. Wish I wouldn't have any other freaking way. I know part of the game's horror is like running out of freaking ammo, but I'm sorry. To get the best Let's Plays that I can for my channel, I have to use a cheat or two. So I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I know I'm going to get booed everywhere on the internet. Checking up the ID card. Is it sick? <laughs> So you can use cheats too to get like items ahead of time, but then that kind of glitches the game, so you don't want to do stuff like that. I can still die, by the way. So everybody take a consolation in that. Is there? A, I, I distinctly remember there being a an, an herb plant around here. Let me see. Let me check over in the corners. I distinctly remember there being an herb around here somewhere. Herbs superb. Damn, that must have been a different game I'm thinking about. Or maybe that's Resident Evil 3 there were herbs around here. Alright, so yeah, there's that. So we're 26 minutes in, we got a lot we got a lot done. So let's see, can we go through here now? Yep, we can go through here now. Police Memorandum. 8 23, 1998. This letter is just to inform everyone about the recent movement of equipment that has happened during the precinct's rear arrangement. The safe with the four-digit lock has been moved from the star's office on the second floor to the eastern office on the first floor. The combination is 2236. Raccoon Police Li Liaison Department. Exit. Filed it. Well, goody good. And here we have our very first box. No item. So let me see. Should I stash the key in here? I'll stash these bullets in here. Hey, wait a minute. That's not supposed to happen. Might need the ink ribbons though. I might need that special key in a few minutes though. Hold on, let me. Because I think the special key goes to a door on this floor. I'm not sure. Yeah, I know I got 99 bullets. So sue me. I got a lockpick? Sure. Yeah. Yes, first aid kit. Gimme. I have taken the first aid spray. I'm gonna need that son of a bitch. Oh, ho, ho, yeah. <laughs> I remember that from the old days. The liquor. And there were some really scary moments in this game. I, asked, I remember when this game terrified me. I see you out there. I know you're out there. What does this sign say? I wonder what the sign said in the hallway. It's like in hindsight, you always want to look at stuff in hindsight when you go back to an old game. Let me see. So can I do something with this right now? Probably not. The cord's been cut. Yeah, that's and that's a good thing. His head is missing. It seems to have been twisted off. I must touch him. Mm 
Yeah, making all the noise on the glass doesn't help. Can I go in this door? It's locked. The spade is inch under the keyhole. Great! Okay, nope. Classic cutscene, y'all. That guy has a mind of his own, and you can see it. <laughs> get it, do Damn it, see, this is why I'm glad I found that first aid kit. And this is what all these bullets are for. Get back. And you died right on top of the guy you killed earlier. I took some heavy damage. I'm surprised I'm not limping around right now. Because usually when you take a lot of damage, you limp a lot to the point where you get slowed down. I got to stay away from the walls because I remember what happened when I got too close to the walls. Yeah, this is creepy as fuck. I need to find another save point, too. Oh, damn it, I left my damn ink ribbons. Ah, oh, man, that means when I start the game back up, that's not gonna bode well. All right, there should be a note. Empty soda cans and junk, nothing else. Should be some kind of notice here. Man, I could use a drink right about now. In real life, too, I could really use a drink. I haven't drank or ate anything in a few hours. Quite a few hours, man. Oh, wait, there's a note right here. Reading kind. Operation report. Operation report. September 26th, the Raccoon Police Department was unexpectedly attacked by zombies. Yeah, that's not unusual at all. <laughs> Many have been injured. Even more were killed during the attack. Our communications equipment was destroyed and we no longer have contact with the outside. We have decided to carry out an operation with the intent of rescuing any possible survivors as well as to prevent this disaster from spreading beyond Raccoon City. The, teals, the details of the Operation are as follows. Security of armaments and ammunition. Chief Irons has voiced concern regarding the issue of terrorism due to a series of recent unresolved incidents on the very day before the zombies attack. He made the decision to relocate all weapons to scattered intervals throughout the building as a temporary measure to prevent their possible seizure. Unfortunately, this decision has made it extremely difficult for us to locate all the ammunition caches. It has become our top priority to recover the scattered munitions to unlock the weapon storage. Wait a minute. Did I miss something? Let's see to unlock the weapon storage as stated earlier it will be extremely difficult to secure all the ammunitions all the ammunition however a considerable supply still remains in the underground weapon storage unfortunately the person in charge of the card key used to access the weapon storage is missing of course and we have been unable to locate the key one of the breakers went down during the battle and the electronic locks are not functioning in certain areas it has become top priority to restore the power in the power room and secure those locks recorder david ford operation report september 27th man there's a lot of reading 1 p.m the West Barricade has been broken through. Another exchange ensued. We sheltered the injured in the confiscation room on the first floor temporarily. Twelve more people were injured in the battle. Recorder, David Ford. Additional report. Man, this guy wrote a lot before he died. Three additional people were killed uh, following the sudden appearance of an as of yet unknown creature. This creature is identified by missing patches of skin and razor sharp like claws. Razor like claws, but they are razor sharp. And see, and razor like claws. However, its most distinguishing characteristics are its exposed brain and its last lance like tongue. Capable of piercing a human torso in an instant. Their number, as well as their location, remains unknown. We have tentatively named this creature the Liquor.
that's not cliche at all. <laughs> and are currently in the process of developing countermeasures to deal with this new threat. Exit. Operation report filed. All right, let's get out of here. I need the map. Where's the damn map? Where the hell am I? Can I zoom? I need to zoom. Okay, I know where I am now. Find out where I is. <laughs> So yeah, this is where I is. I is on this floor. Gotta tread carefully. A ventilation shaft, it's dark inside. I didn't notice that the last time I played this. Oh man, forget about these guys. Get off, get off, I already got clawed to death twice. All right, you guys, are, you guys gotta go. What a waste of a perfectly good one. Get out of my face. Yeah, this is not annoying at all. Is everybody dead? Nope. <laughs> now you are. All right, I think I missed something. I probably did. Let's look in here first, because I think I'm doing stuff out of order. It's locked. Diamond is actually to kill. All right. Fair enough. some freaking herbs and not the good kind Michael these are the kind that heal you these are not the kind you roll up and go puff puff on okay not those kind of herbs I mean it oh freaking at last oh I think this is where I use a special key Oh, yes, there is one outfit that should fit you. You change your clothes? Yes, a thousand times yes. Please wait a minute. That took less than, there's an old gun here. Yeah, give me that. Oh my God. When they say made in heaven, they were not kidding. Look at that. Look at how she sports that. She is just killing that. Now you know why I like playing with Claire Foots. All right, so let's see. Is there is there an ink ribbon here? Yep. Save the game, and we're going to go ahead and call it quits from here. I'm going to go ahead. If you want to see me play more of this game, let me go ahead and save on the memory card here. Uh, we'll do another save right here. If you'd like to see me play more of this game, I will be turning off some of the uh, cheats. Well, the one cheat I had on, but I didn't know it was going to like 99 every damn thing I picked up. I'm sorry, okay? So forgive me on that. But like I said, who likes dying in these games? It's like one of the worst feelings ever. So yeah, let's go ahead. We're going to go ahead and do that. We save the game. Let's go ahead and put a few things away. Uh, let's put this ammo away because we're not going to need it yet. No, I want to keep that gun. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in here, and we'll put this herb in here, and put the gun at the top, and we'll put this herb here. Keep an ink, gotta keep an ink ribbon with us at all times. All right, so yeah, there's that. We'll keep one herb with us. I get. Let's go. Let's see what's beyond this, and I want to see how this gun works. Hold on. Okay. 
This is the film room, I believe. Wait, is there something else on the desk? It looks like there might be something on the desk here. Yeah, there is. Operation Report 2. Really? Another long reading segment. Bear with me, folks. Early morning, 2.30 a.m., zombies overran the operation room and another battle broke out. We lost four more people, including David. David Ford, I presume. <laughs> We're down to four people, including myself. We failed to secure the weapons cache and hope for our survival. Continues to diminish. Yeah, thank you for, like, not continuing the sentence on the same page. We won't last much longer. We agreed upon a plan to escape through the sewer. There's a path... Um, leading from the precinct underground to the sewage disposal plant. We should be able to access the sewage through there, and the, but the only drawback is that there is no guarantee the sewer disposal plant is free from any possible dangers. We know our chances in the sewers are slim, but anything is better than simply waiting here to die. In order to buy more time, we lock the only door leading to the underground, which is located in the eastern office. We left the key behind in the western office since it's unlikely that any of those creatures have the intelligence to find it and unlock the door you would think that wouldn't you i pray that the operation this operation report will be helpful to whoever will find it recorder elliot edward who is not dead currently <laughs> operation two has been filed all right so um since we stashed some stuff and i might die but with a lot of ammo it's there's a slim chance that i will die Yes, I will use the ink ribbon. Go ahead and do another save. I'll overwrite this save. I know what people are out there thinking when they see this Let's Play with the typewriter. Who uses typewriters anymore? I can develop film here. some in the jackets I could have sworn there was uh, like some film in the pocket of the jackets okay so there's not it's dark all right we saved the game let's see what other terrors are beyond the door here because I think I did something wrong also I'm missing the lighter I need to go back I think I need to either go back upstairs let me go back through the lower area because I think I'm missing the lighter. Hold on. I need to go back through the lower area. Because the lighter is missing. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, I remember those hands breaking through the freaking walls. I hope nothing sprung up while I was over here. I can't remember what would spawn and what would respawn in this game. There's that other freaking herb. I knew there was another herb around here. I passed it right up. You guys are probably screaming at me right now. All right, there should be a lighter at the beginning area but I'm not sure I probably made like a backtrack um, just in case because I know there was a lighter sitting on a bench somewhere and if I recall correctly I thought it was right here I did I thought there was a lighter right here so yeah, it's, there is no lighter here. There is no lighter here. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we are 44 minutes in. I guess we'll make it an even 50. That liquor is gone, meaning that there's a chance that it might reappear somewhere. Right, let's run on through here. Where the hell is that lighter? Wait, you know what? I didn't go all the way through the operations room here. Hold on. Let me let me go ahead and duck in here real quick. 
Sorry, just thirsty. Mouth is kind of dry. Hmm. Should have grabbed something to drink, but I didn't like an idiot. Hmm. It looks like an operation map. The title is A Sacrifice to the Hellfire. Yeah, it's, that's not creepy at all. I know there was something over here. I know there was. There was something here before. Was that in Scenario B with Leon, though? I could have sworn there was something in here. That might have been with Leon's scenario, though. All right, so let's get out of here. All right, so let's head back over here. Man. What the hell? I could have sworn there was something over there. It's been, like I said, it's been like ages since I played this game. And you'll notice that I have good, this is a good high def, high quality picture that we're doing this on. And this is all thanks to the Note 4's capabilities. I mean, not the, the Note 4 had good capabilities, of course. This is the Note 8 and it has great capability. It really does. I could have sworn there was a lighter here. I could have sworn there was a lighter here. I thought the lighter was right there. Seriously, I did. Now, wait a minute, baby. Okay, you know what? Let's go around. Maybe there's another way around. Nope, there's not. All right, let's go back through here. Wait a minute. Did another door unlock? Locked from the other side. I think another door unlocked. Because we got the key card from there. There should have been another door over here that unlocked. Nope. Oh, wait. I forgot about the one near the stairs. Hold on. Let me see. If there was a door near the stairs. I guess it's been a long time since I played this. I'm doing stuff in the wrong order, too. I know I am. Are you staying down now? Okay, good. Don't get back up. Hey, more herbs superb. Damn, it would appear that I am running out of ammo for that gun. <laughs> it is decidedly so. You staying down or what? And this hallway is dark. Get back up, I dare you. Was this girl out for a jog? She must have been out for a jog. 
Cause she's wearing like short shorts and a tank top. Red rum. Red rum. That's what it says on there. It says red rum. What do you want? Boy, most of the doors in this place are locked like a son of a bitch. Does it say anything about this painting? Nothing unusual. Okay. It's locked. Club is etched under the hole. A club? Can I join it? I will take the red herb. Let me combine these. I gotta, cause I gotta make some room. Okay. Combine. Mix the herbs together. Mmm, herb superb, yes. I wanna see if I can get some more bullets. Should be able to find some more bullets somewhere. Now watch this, the minute I friggin' touch this. Hey, what's that over there? I forgot about that. Oh wait, I can't get to that. I got because I gotta get a key. I need a key for that. Come on, are we leaving or what? Come on now. Alright, I think the door is down here. Nope, it's not. Where's the door? Okay, the interrogation room's locked. I thought Oh, okay. That's just my my footfalls. I thought sure there was something else down here. Guess I was wrong. It's totally freaking wrong. More soda machines and not a drop to drink. There seems to be an office over there. Yeah, it's the office we just came from. Wait a minute. Did I go through here? Ma! Are you staying down or what? Nope, guess not. I expect nothing less from Raccoon's Finest. I hear somebody else walking around. Is there something right there? Nope. Are you coming or what? Man, you're the slowest friggin' zombie in the world. Uh, are you getting back up? You probably are. Let me see how much ammo do I got left in this gun. Not a lot. Switch back over to this gun for a minute. So like I said, I can still die. <laughs> I think I got the combination lock to this. Okay, hold on, wait, wait. How do I back out? Two, two, three, six. Oh, I remembered it. Hmm. 
Police station map, will I take it? Of course I will. I'm tired of getting lost. All right, so let's see. Is there anything else? Because if I remember correctly, there was something else behind this desk. Yes, I knew it. And like an idiot, I overloaded myself. All right, so, okay, hold on. Can I combine three herbs? Let's combine that and that. And let's go ahead and we'll pick this up. And we might want to go ahead and say that because I need to go ahead. If I find a yellow herb, that's for poison. Because I don't know if I'm going to end up getting poison. I can't believe I remember that off the top of my head. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we're going on an hour, and I know it's probably been boring because I've been able to, like, shoot and run from every damn thing on this game. Hey, what the hell? Oh, I forgot about that guy. Shit. I could swear one of these yellow pads had some info on it. Is there another room I'm missing? I think I missed a room. Hold on, wait. I need to brighten the gamma up a little bit, too. Because in post, I, I don't think this is going to show very well in post. Alright, so is this the only room? Oh, there's another one here. Is there another one here? Sir, are you dead, sir? Yes, you are, sir. Take that ammo off you because I'm running out of ammo for the other gun. <laughs> okay, so we need a hard key to get out of there. Is there a door here? Yes, there is. And I'm probably walked right into a damn trap. Man, I never noticed those horrifying sounds. Let's take a moment and listen, listen. Does anybody remember that? I do not remember that when I was playing, probably because I had a mono TV and this is like, um, this is in stereo. Yeah, I know I'm passing these herbs up, but we're, we're going to reserve those for later. Damn, it's locked from the inside. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to end it on a creepy note here. My name is Limited Break Gray. I have reached my limit. I'm very tired right now, and I know a lot of people are screaming, Why did you cheat? Big part of money is watching her die. No, it's not. Not. It's called survival horror. And you do what you have to do to survive, even if it involves cheating with them. So I'm very sorry for spoiling it for some people, but if other people enjoyed this um, playthrough, then thank you. If you're going to insult me, do it in the comments below. If you want to see me play more of this without the cheats, of course I'm going to be turning them off because i got enough ammo for freaking days, and I've mowed down half these freaking zombies. So pretty much I'll be set for the rest of the game. Anyway, my name is Limit Break Ray. Thank you, everyone everyone who supported me out there. Thank you for all the votes tonight, and I hope everyone has a wonderful evening. I'll see everybody tomorrow at freaking Well, I won't. Someone else will. <laughs> anyway, like I said, my name is Limit Break Ray, and all I have left to say is, well, goodbye.